A lot of lives have been lost due to the sudden breakout of fires towards hijacked buildings in the city of Johannesburg, which gets one thinking, do we have the capacity to deal with these ongoing fires? On today's show, Leroy talks to the CEO of FireOps SA. Well, it was since uh, the, the, the middle of the last decade that we realized that fire services in general were declining in service delivery standards, but more so in Johannesburg for whatever reason. And, um, and I decided to pick up that slack uh, by virtue of a private offering. And it's, uh, it's been going well so far. You know, we, we, I founded the company in uh, July of 2017. Uh, 2018, we spent the, the best part of the year in Iran. And as, uh, as we landed almost, um, we were approached by Anglo-American, which turned out to be a brilliant champion client for us ever since then. Now, what's changed in the emergency service industry that's given rise to um, fire ops becoming the number one go-to uh, emergency service provider? I think there's a lot of political issues with it uh, in the first instance, which I don't have the capacity nor the knowledge to interpret. Uh, but it's obvious that there's, there are political issues. And, uh, and those issues translate into uh, tenders for fire engines, for instance, not, being, uh, not coming through. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the hardware, then of course you lose, uh, you lose uh, faith in your own systems. And so then you have a, de a demoralizing of staff. And when the staff demoralize, then you know, one thing um, leads to another, and eventually you sit with something that you simply cannot manage or contain. And that's what happened to Joburg Fire Department. Now, Fire Ops is experiencing lots of growth within Joburg. How are you taking this to market for both residential areas and the insurance industry? Residential has, has taken, has, has taken a, 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 an interesting turn. We've never advertised anything. We've, we've delivered a service. What we've done um, is we decided to, uh, to go very strong on our social responsibility. So we attend uh, a great number of, of incidents uh, that are not income generating at all. But I decided to use it for, for, for two reasons to do that. The one is, of course, it gives us good publicity. And the other is it, it keeps our staff on their toes. So I almost see a, a non-income generating house fire, for instance, as a very good opportunity to call it a draw. And so that's, that's really a practice run for us, and that helps us to improve our delivery and our standard. And we've got a, 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 a slogan that says, uh, let's just be better than what we were yesterday. We're not measuring us against anything or anyone else. We're measuring us against who we were the day before. And for the insurance industry? The insurance, uh, insurance industry is, is slow on the uptake in that Although, yes, yes, the, the, the benefit is that when a, a, we have a, a structural fire, we bill uh, the homeowner or the landowner and they pass it on to the insurer. And in three years, we've never had a claim refuted uh, as far as the fire claim is concerned because we remain fair in all of it. Of course, the ideal would be, and we have had uh, approaches that uh, the insurers should actually see this as a what is known as a VAP, a value-added product, and just add it on as a service to a policy. So there's a strong move at the moment towards, um, to, towards that, and, and I'm sure we'll, we'll see uh, some great things coming in the near future. It's obviously in the, uh, to the advantage of the insurer. Um, to have a service like us to protect their assets. Um, because you're looking at two, two different levels of protection. The one is life safety, which obviously first comes first. But once the building has been evacuated, then after that you're looking at protecting the structure, protecting the business that's contained in that structure, and looking after business continuity. So there's a whole lot of reasons that the insurers should be interested in what we're doing. 